Good afternoon. I'm Brian Marl, Mayor of the City of Saline, joining you from City Council Chambers on Friday, May the 22nd. I'm in good health and in good spirits, but like many of you, I suspect, I'm eager to resume a normal routine. I'm eager to return to the office on a daily basis. I miss our in-person meetings, my visit to the rec center, and of course, I desperately miss my weekly haircuts. Now, just a few city announcements. As you're likely aware, city council and staff have demonstrated great flexibility and understanding during the course of the COVID-19 global health pandemic. We've extended the deadline for this quarter's utility bills until June the 1st. We temporarily abstained from enforcing our lawn maintenance policies. We modified downtown parking and we have extended numerous site plans and development agreements. We've also advocated for the restoration of trash, recycling, and yard waste services, which to date have been completely restored. Further, while the process remains very fluid, we are beginning to develop a reopening strategy for, for city services, including the rec center. And city government is working diligently with Celine Main Street to complete a similar reopening strategy for our downtown, with a primary focus on supporting and assisting our existing business community. Also, our farmer's market is now open and residents may safely venture downtown on Saturday mornings to patronize the numerous vendors who attend our market on a weekly basis. As I've stated before, these are challenging and unprecedented times. Our rec center is closed along with City Hall. Many staff members are working remotely. Most board and commission meetings have been canceled while City Council and Planning Commission have been meeting online. All of this has adversely impacted our organization's cohesion and effectiveness. Of course, there are inherent challenges when leading any municipality or unit of government. I'm frustrated at times, but never discouraged. I'll continue to focus on the big issues along with improving our residents' quality of life. I'm as optimistic as ever and I know that our best days lie ahead of us. During times of hardship and challenge, it's important to recognize those who administer critical programs and essential services. I applaud the continued efforts of those in our healthcare industries, those in law enforcement and corrections, uh, our utility workers, and locally, our DPW water and wastewater employees. And those I missed, thank you for your courage and continued efforts during the COVID-19 health pandemic. Now, I deeply regret that I will not have the opportunity to see many of you this weekend, specifically at our Memorial Day parade, program, and subsequent luncheon at our Legion Hall. As you all know, I so enjoyed delivering remarks and reflecting on the significance of each Memorial Day. This Memorial Day, I'm reminded that our forebearers, loved ones, and fellow Americans have overcome great challenges in the past. They achieved our independence, ended slavery, survived the Great Depression, overcame two world wars, and numerous other military conflicts. And yet, our nation endures and continues to prosper. Let us keep faith with those who have served, and let us remember and honor those who have perished. As I've stated before, the United States of America is the greatest nation in the history of mankind. But with greatness comes responsibility, and the world needs our leadership and our moral clarity. At home, we must remember there is more that unites us than divides us. We're all Americans bound together, united and cooperative, we can accomplish great things. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Please be safe and stay healthy. If you need anything, anything at all uh, from me, please do not hesitate to call or email my office. Now, may God bless our servicemen and women, our veterans, those no longer with us, and all those who work to keep us safe. And of course, may God bless America. Thank you very much.